Welcome to lesson 2.4. This is on subtracting of integers, and we're going to use tiles. So to subtract integers, there's two ways of doing it. One way um, is quite complicated. Well, not that complicated, but it requires more work than the other. And the other one is actually can save you a little bit of work, and that's called adding the opposite. To show you that they're exactly the same thing, I'm going to do this the question two different ways. I'm going to show you the way which uses the zero principle, and then I'm going to use the way which is called adding the opposite. So to see how this works, let's take a look at a question. The question I'm going to look at is negative 3 take away negative 5. I've taken negative 3 and I've drawn the tiles for negative 3. Now because it's a subtraction question, I have to remove or take away or subtract 5 negative tiles. But you can see I only have 3 here. There's only 3. That means I can't take 5 away because I don't have enough. But if you remember a couple of lessons ago, I showed you how to draw tiles, or sorry, draw numbers, but in different ways, in such a way that you could add zeros to stuff and not change the number that was there. The example I used was a negative 2. You can see here that I've got negative 3 still. That hasn't changed, but I've added some zeros. Now, those zeros don't change the amount that's there. But if you notice, I now have enough tiles that I can take away the 5. So if I rearrange things, you'll see that here is my 5 tiles now that I can take away. Now they can be removed. Remember the question was negative 3, take away negative 5. I can now take away the negative 5 and they're gone. Look what the answer is. The answer is positive 2. That's what's left when I do it. Now I'll show you how to do the actual tile drawing for marks and stuff in a moment. But you see, by adding the negative, the zeros, I ended up getting enough negatives that I could take the five negatives away. And what's left is the positive two. Now, there is a shorter way of doing it. And this shorter way actually has three words you have to memorize. It's called add the opposite. Now, here is the one thing that causes the most difficulty. This add the opposite will only work when you are subtracting. Never add the opposite when you're adding. If you're adding, you don't have to add the opposite because you're already adding. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at the same question. Okay, consider this a subtraction question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the opposite. Well, what does adding the opposite look like? Well, here's your negative 3, here's my subtraction, and here's my negative 5. Adding the opposite means that this here is added and this becomes its opposite. So we end up with a question, which is negative 3. This never changes. Plus, that's your add, positive 5, which is the opposite. Okay. Now, we know how to add positive, sorry, negative 3 and positive 5. We've done that many times. <coughs> we did a whole lesson on it. So we have <coughs> negative 3. You draw the negative 3 right here. You draw the positive 5, you circle what cancels, and whatever's left is that. Now, you did a whole lesson on this, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty. Excuse me for a moment here, I'm just going to cough. Okay, so the reason I did these both the same, or did the same question in two different ways, was for you to understand that if you have negative 3, take away negative 5, you can draw all the zero tiles to get enough negative tiles to take away the negative 5, or you can just redraw or rewrite the equation, adding the opposite, and then you can just add like we were doing in the last lesson. Now, adding is easier than subtracting because you don't have to redraw all the zeros. So let's do some more questions and show you how this works. Negative 4 subtract positive 3. The first thing you need to do is you have to add the opposite. So that means you have to rewrite this expression, adding the opposite. Now the negative 4 does not change. That stays the same. That is that. Add the opposite becomes plus. That's your add. And then your opposite. What is the opposite of positive 3? That is negative 3. So when you add the opposite, this is what this changes to. You're adding the opposite type of tiles that are there. A positive 3 becomes a negative 3. Now, how do we add these? Well, you've done negative 4 plus negative 3 before. We just did a whole lesson on it. Here's negative 4. Here's negative 3. 
And we know that when the tiles are the same, there's no canceling. So your final answer is going to be whatever is here, and that gives you a total of negative 7. Question done. So how am I going to mark this? Well, add the opposite. Well, there you go. Did you draw negative 7 or say negative 4? You do this right here. Check. Did you draw negative 3? Check. And did you get negative 7 when you're done? Check. So you can see this got 1, 2, 3, 4 marks there. Okay. Negative 4, subtract negative 5. Adding the opposite, the negative 4 does not change. Add the opposite of what the second integer is. It's a negative 5. It becomes a positive 5. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing negative 4 and positive 5. So again, grab your tiles, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What cancels? Like a negative 4, I'm not drawing the same size, but it works, and these become 0, leaving me with a total of positive 1 left over. How am I going to mark it? Did you add the opposite? Did you draw a negative 4? Did you draw a positive 5? Did you cancel? Tell me what's left over. This is worth 5 marks. Turn the page. Okay, I'd like you to try this one. Net positive 4, subtract positive 6. So pause the recording and do this and see if you can get all the marks. Okay. First thing is, add the opposite. The positive 4 does not change. Add the opposite of, negative, of positive 6, which is negative 6. So I've got positive 4 plus negative 6. So I need to draw a positive 4. So here's my positive 4. And here's my negative 6. And these ones are all shaded in. You can just do a couple like this. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm one short. There we go. Okay, so what cancels? See right here, that goes to zero, leaving you with negative two as your answer. Did you draw a positive four? Check. Did you draw a negative six? Check. Did you cancel? Check. Did you write the answer down? Check. There you go. Oh, and you had to do it the add the opposite up there also. So the final answer would have been one, two, three, four, five marks. Okay? When you're doing your assignment, I'm going to expect you to put this down also. You have to have the equation or the expression you started with, so I know what you're working with, okay? So you're going to put the question down, add the opposite, and then you're going to work from there. So let's go and do a couple of extra questions here. You see, uh, I just lost my, where to go? Oh, that's the wrong one. That's okay. Let's have you try this. All right, so let's do some questions. Get some paper. I'd like you to do negative 2 minus negative 4. Okay, so pause the equation, pause the question, and do that, and I will grab and create some tiles for myself here. Okay, you should be done by now. So now the first thing you need to do is to do add the opposite, so negative 2 plus positive 4. So now you have to draw negative 2. So here's your negative 2 right here. Your positive 4 right there. What cancels? And what's left over? So did you put the question down? Well, I did. Add the opposite. Did you draw a negative 2? Did you draw a positive 4? Did you cancel it? Did you tell me what's left over? You can see the answers. That's our question right there. Six possible marks. Hopefully you got all six. Okay. Let's have you try another question. I want you to do positive 5. Subtract negative 3. So pause the recording and do this question. Okay. First off, you have to add the opposite. So positive 5 stays the same. You're adding a positive 3. This is your adding. This is your opposite. Now, draw your positive 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So there's your positive 5, your, neg your positive 3, 1, 2, 3, there you go. Now, don't fall into the trap of thinking you can cancel anything. There's no reds there, so you can't cancel a thing. So your final answer is just going to be whatever is here. In this case, it's positive 8. Okay? So, we're done. I think that's the last of the lesson. Let me double check here. Yep, so do the assignment. If you have any questions, re-watch the video, and come and see me if you have any questions.